Wait, what's going on? What's going on? Mike, what are you doing here? The police look for you. Get out of my house. What are you doing with that knife? Get away from me. Stop it. Stop it. Get away from me. Now's my chance to get my revenge. I've been watching that horrible, smelly family all day long, playing around being happy. They don't know what happiness is. I'm gonna take it away from them. I'm gonna sneak in now while they're all sleeping and stab them all and kidnap Alex so she can be my wife again. But first thing I wanna do is cut up that Steve guy while he sleeps. Ugh, I hate him so much. There he is, Steve, my number one enemy, and now it's time for him to die. I'm gonna cut him up while he sleeps right in front of his beloved wife. <laughs> hey, wait, what's going on? What's going on? Mike, what are you doing here? The police look for you. Get out of my house. What are you doing with that knife? Get away from me. Stop it. Stop it. Get away from me. Okay, Alex, we got the body downstairs. He's buried in there right now. This is gonna be our big secret, okay? We can't tell anybody about this. Of course not. We can go to prison, but it's okay. He deserves it. It was either us or him, Steve. He came over to kill our whole family. I know, I know. We had to do it. There was nothing That's else we it. could do about it, okay? Let me just get rid of these torches as well. Okay, so no one knows we've been out here. Maybe we should put no. some uh, plants or something on over here. Listen, Steve, I'm going to tell you a big secret. Mike doesn't have any family, any sisters or brothers. He doesn't have a mom or a dad. There's literally going to be nobody looking for him except the police. And when the police won't find him, they're just going to assume that maybe he went to another country or changed his identity or something. So don't worry, we're never going to get caught. But please just make sure you don't tell our kids or ever ever talk about it okay just let's promise to each other right now it's all in the past we're never gonna speak about this day absolutely don't ever mention his name ever again if the kids ever say on about him just say he's got arrested and he's gone that's it we just okay. forget about the guy and just never talk about him oh gosh i feel kind of relieved now is it bad that i feel happy that he's dead i mean does that make me evil maybe i'm still evil steve uh, no, 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 you're not evil. You're happy he's dead because he did so many bad things to us. I mean, he tried to kill me, he tried to kidnap you and the kids. I mean, he tried to kill us last night again. I mean, we had to do it. It was just self-defense. I had to do it, but I don't know. Our I just needed to bury the body. Let's just check on them to make sure that he didn't hurt them. Okay, just be really careful. No, 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 they're, 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 they're sleeping. Okay, they're still baby sleeping. Steve they're fast asleep. Sleeping. It's okay. Baby Alex is sleeping. It's all good. He didn't get a chance to hurt our sweet babies. But Steve, you're so brave. I cannot believe that he dropped his knife and you picked it up and killed him. How do you feel? It, I don't know. I'm just uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad it happened because now he's out of our lives. But I feel a bit bad for murdering because maybe he was just maybe he was just uh, misunderstood or something. I don't no. know. But we'll never know. Look, look. I've cleaned up all the blood as well. I put down some fresh carpet so no one's ever gonna know that he was in here. No, nobody's gonna oh, know. Wait. And what? What about he got in here? He got in here through the treehouse. Come on, let's go check oh, how gosh. he got in here. How did he get in? I didn't even think about it. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Look, he's got to build a <gasps> ladder. We gotta smash this. We gotta oh, smash this. Oh, how are we gonna do it? Oh gosh. It's okay. Oh gosh, but it's okay, Steve. Don't feel bad. You were just protecting your family. It was self-defense. Even if police ever digs up a whole garden and finds his body, we can just say it was self-defense. He was trying to kill all of us. Absolutely. I know it was self-defense. I'm not too worried about it. But look, all the evidence is gone now. He's buried out the back. Let's just uh, get some sleep before the morning so the kids don't uh, know that we've been tired and up all night long. Yeah, you're right. We have a long day today, uh, tomorrow morning. And you know what? I don't really feel good. Maybe it's because I saw the dead body, but I actually feel pretty sick. Yeah, it's probably because of the dead body and we've just been out in the rain for ages and uh, let's just uh, get some sleep and get fresh for tomorrow. Okay, good night, Steve. And remember, tomorrow we wake up and we don't say a word to anybody. We're going to pretend that it was just a big nightmare, okay? Baby Alex, baby Alex, quickly wake up, wake up. What? I had a terrible nightmare that Mike was back and he was trying <gasps> to kill us. What? Oh, yeah. gosh. No, 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 no. He can't be back. No, wait. Check everything. No, um, Siri, I said it's a nightmare. He's not oh. back. It was a nightmare. Oh, not sorry. Uh, Nightmares I just woke up. are not real life. You do understand I that? I know. I do understand that, Celia. I just woke up. My brain does not work. Mommy, Daddy's breakfast ready? We I'm want so to hungry. breakfast. <gasps> Shh. Mommy's still sleeping. Let's still wake sleeping. her up. Mommy, Mommy, wakey, wakey, wake up. Baby Alex, baby Steve, come downstairs. Stop annoying your mother. Uh, why? Why is mommy still sleeping? It's already morning time. Um, she's just not feeling too good right now. Her stomach is a bit upset and she's a little bit tired. She couldn't sleep last night either. So just leave her what? alone and let her sleep for the day, okay? But daddy, it took me, you and mommy and baby Steve are supposed to have a day of fun today. Yeah, we were supposed to, but your mom's feeling a little bit sick. So just let her recover today and then maybe we'll do it tomorrow. And you've got your new puppy out there running around having loads of fun. So you can play uh, with him, right? Okay. Baby Steve said that he had a nightmare that Mike was here and he was trying to kill all of us. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, but it was just a nightmare. Yeah, was, you didn't see him here, actually, did you? Um, no, no. Daddy, I didn't see him at all. It was just, I think it was just a nightmare. It's just a bad dream because he's such a crazy guy. Yeah, I know. It's okay, Daddy. Baby me and Baby Steve can go into town and get Mommy, like, some flowers and some cake to make her feel better. That's a great idea, yeah. Go get flowers and a cake and uh, bring it back to her and she'll probably be feeling better later on and we can uh -huh. sit outside and we can enjoy ourselves. Awesome! Okay, baby Steve, did you hear that? Let's yeah. go do a big, nice surprise for mommy. Why don't oh, look, we give her the surprise? Chubby Chubby! 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 He's so happy to see us! Oh, look, he loves his new little house and his doggy <laughs> bone. He's got loads of doggy pics. Chubby, go. come with us! Here you go, Chubby. Here you Chubby, go. take him doggy with us. <laughs> Here, it, there you go. It. Take it. Take it. No, I don't think he's hungry. He eats loads. Chubby, do you want to come with us into town to get my mommy a surprise? Just no. leave him here because he's got all his biscuits and he's having loads of fun. We'll go in and we'll just get our stuff from him. Okay, Chubby, if you're lucky enough, maybe we'll get you a surprise too. Mom, close the gate. Baby Steve, why is her mommy sick? That is so weird. My mommy is never, never sick. And Sometimes she mommies and daddies get sick because they're just old and they're lazy and they're <gasps> just getting out of their bones oh and stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm going to say to mommy that you called her old and no, lazy. Don't say that. Don't say that. She's going to be mad at me. I don't know why she's sick. Maybe she's just got a flu or a cold or something. Yeah, hopefully she won't be sick for a long time because we only got her mommy back and we only got her family back to normal and I really want to have fun all of us i know absolutely you know what let's go get her loads of cool things we'll cheer her up we make her feel better <gasps> baby and then steve we can have come this way i have a great idea let's go to the store and maybe buy her something like a nice necklace or like mm. a nice earrings or something what about some sweets mm, what about a nice necklace excuse me <gasps> i know we can buy her this chair isn't Wait. this ju this chair just amazing? And she can That's chill out on it. Be cool, all right. She can get a nice chair to chill out. Okay, but how are we gonna pay for it? Mm, I don't know. Um, sir, is it okay if we take this chair and my daddy's gonna come later on and give you some money for it? Well, little girl, let me see about that now. Please. Who's your daddy? My daddy is uh, Steve, and my mommy is really sick in bed, so we just wanna buy her something nice so she be feels better. Okay, little girl, I'll put that on Steve's account. You have a lovely day. Yay, thank you so much, sir. 
Thank you, so you're awesome. Nice. You're the best. <laughs> awesome. We got this cool chair. Check it out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jump on it. It's so see. soft. Ooh, it's so comfy. <gasps> you look so professional in that chair, baby Steve. Now you have to get up. Get up, get up, get up. It's mommy's chair. I'm taking it. I'm taking it back. It you're not allowed okay. to sit on it. What about we get her some candy as well? Yeah. Candy is good. <gasps> but I'm not sure if sick people are allowed to eat candy. I mean, it can upset your tummy. Mm, yeah, but maybe it'll make her feel better if you get her. What like, about the little donut. teddy? We'll get her teddy as well. Excuse me, sir. Can you put this on Steve's tab, please? Thank you very much. I'm I got gonna a take cute some teddy. Pink donuts. <gasps> pink donuts. She loves pink donuts. That's her favorite. They're filled with strawberries and raspberries. They're delicious. They're so nice. You know what else we can get her? We can get her some flowers because Mammy's always like flowers. Yay, there's a flower shop over there. Let's that do it. Let's go get some flowers. Amazing. Some flowers, and then we can get some cupcakes from George. And that would be just perfect. And then we're going to show it to her, Bobby, and she'll feel look, all there's better. There's a bunch of flowers up here. I got this one here. Look, check this out. <gasps> show this me. One. Oh, wow. That's a nice bouquet. Excuse me, sir. We don't have any money on us, but my daddy can come later and pay. Is that okay? Absolutely, guys. No problem. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Awesome. Everybody is so lovely to us today. George, George, is it okay if we get a few cupcakes for her mommy because she's really sick in bed and we just want to make her feel better? Yeah, baby, Alex and baby Steve, that's no problem. Grab whatever you want. I'll put it on the account and uh, wish your mother a uh, good luck, okay? Okay, thank you. <gasps> Awesome. Okay, baby Steve. So we got a cupcake, a teddy bear, and a chair. What have you got? Uh, I got the flowers. Cause they're awesome. so pretty. We got some This is there. going to be amazing. Mommy's gonna feel so much better, and then we're gonna get a day of fun with our family. Maybe we can go to the beach or something. Don't get me wrong. I really like our swimming pool, but I'm kind of bored sitting at home all day, every day. Yeah, we can go to the beach and we can bring our new puppy, Chubby, and he can teach him how to swim. Isn't Chubby just amazing? But do you think Chubby likes me better or you better? I think mm -hmm. he likes me better. I think he likes me better because he keeps following me around all the time. No, he's my puppy. He likes me better. Uh, daddy, daddy, check out all the cool things we got for mommy. Look, we got the flowers, and we got our donuts, and we got our candies, and we got our cool chair as well. Yeah, we put daddy, it all in look. your account to pay for everything. Check this chair out, daddy. How amazing is it? And a teddy. Yes, that's awesome. You did such a good job. Your brother's going to be so, so happy. Why don't you go upstairs and see if she's awake? Okay, let's go wake her up, baby Steve. Grab the flowers, okay? I got them, I got them. Mommy, mommy, can you please wake up? We really miss you and we want to play with you. <gasps> Baby Steve, she feels so warm. I think she has a fever. Daddy! Daddy, <laughs> mommy is really sick. Uh, I think she has a fever. We need to call a doctor or something. It doesn't look good. Oh, guys, it doesn't look good at all. I thought she was going to get better, but if she's getting work, I'm definitely going to have a call a doctor, okay? Uh, let me just give him a call. We'll get him over here soon and we'll make sure she gets some medicine and make her feel better. Okay, Daddy, you got to hurry up. She doesn't look good. Doctor, so do you know what's wrong with me? I've never been so sick in my life. Well, Alex, yes, we've done uh, quite a few tests. Uh, I couldn't figure out what you had for a while because you didn't really show the correct symptoms, but I've actually done a couple of blood tests and I've got some great news for you. Great news that I'm sick? You must be kidding me, doctor. What's wrong with me? Well, it looks like you've been getting sick because you're actually pregnant again. Congratulations. What? I, uh, I'm pregnant? How is that even possible? I well, you see, what happens is a man and a woman, uh, I mean, yes, so you're, obviously you're pregnant, what? yes? No, um, yes, I mean, yes, I'm happy, I'm really happy, I'm just really confused. When I was pregnant with my twins, baby Alex and baby Steve, I was never this sick. I was shivering all night, getting nightmares, sweating, having a fever, are you sure that I'm pregnant?
pregnant, Doctor? Well, every baby is different, and I actually have the blood samples right here, and yes, you're definitely pregnant, and don't oh, you worry, the baby is very, very healthy, and I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful pregnancy. Um, okay, well, thank you, Doctor, thank you so much, um, I don't know what else to say, I'm just in shock. I can't don't you I'm worry about a single again. thing, you've already had two babies, there'll be no problem for you, and I'm sure your family are going to be very, very happy, would you like me um, to tell them? Uh, it's okay, doctor. I can tell them myself if you don't mind, but thank you so much. No problem, Alex. I'll talk to you again soon, and if you're feeling sick again, just give me a call and I'll come around. Okay, doctor. Thank you, thank you. I will give you a call if I feel worse than I'm feeling already. Bye! Bye-bye now. Thank you. Oh, my. I can't believe this. I'm pregnant. But, but what if it's not Steve's baby? What if it's Mike's baby? I mean, I was with Mike for months and months and now I'm back with Steve, but I don't know when exactly I got pregnant. It could be Mike's baby. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, I feel sick. What am I going to do? Well, uh, my belly is going to start growing, so I guess I have to tell Steve and I have to tell the babies, but I can't let Steve know that it might be Mike's child. He's never going to forgive me for this. He's going to throw me out and divorce me. I'll just have to lie and say that I'm pretty sure that it's Steve's baby. And hopefully it is. And then when the baby is born, we can do a DNA. Oh, I just hope that it's Steve's baby. And if it's Mike's baby, I don't know what to do. Alex, the doctor just left. Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling better, I guess. He gave me some tablets, so it's going to be fine. Don't worry about me. You shouldn't have called him anyway. No, that's awesome news. You can enjoy the rest of the day with us now and the kids. But mm -hmm. I had to call him. You were feeling really sick and you were sleeping the whole time. Yeah, I know. I think it was just tiredness and whatever happened yesterday that we said we won't talk about. Maybe that had something to do with it also. So what did he say was wrong with you? Uh, well, it's kind of a big surprise, Steve. Oh um, gosh, I'm so excited to tell you. What a big surprise? How can you just get sick, get a doctor, and then you've got a big surprise? Okay, what are you talking well, about? What do you think it is? Come on, Steve, use your brains. Well, if you just saw a doctor uh -huh. and you were feeling sick, and yes. now it's a big surprise, yes. are you telling me that you're pregnant and you're having another baby? Yes, I'm pregnant. We're going to have a turn. Baby Steve, isn't that just unbelievably amazing? Oh my gosh, amazing? I don't believe it. We're going to have another baby. That's so <laughs> crazy. But Alex, I mean, yeah. we, don't, we haven't been together for the last couple of months. You've been with Mike the whole time. Are you sure it's my baby? Of course it's your baby, silly. How dare you say something like this to me and question me like that? I know, but I mean, it's just so sudden and everything. I've been but... living with you for the past three days. And I've only started feeling sick yesterday. That means that it's your baby. Okay, Steve? Oh, I mean, I'm so happy. I mean, it's just amazing. I can't amazing. believe you would say something like this to me and offend me like that. Who do what you do think you mean, I am? Offended. You were with him for two months. What are you talking I know, about? I know, but it's like be you his don't baby. trust me or something. Look, Alex, don't get stressed Ugh. out, right? We're having another baby. That's it. Let's you just ruined... go tell the kids. Listen, you ruined the whole surprise. It's not even... That's it. I'm not even happy anymore. I'm just going to stay here. Get out. Alex, you're going a bit crazy now. Maybe it's because you're pregnant and the hormones are acting up. But look, it's okay. It's our baby. We're going to have another baby. We've got plenty of space here. We can build another extension for another bedroom. And the kids are going to be so happy that they're getting a brother and sister. Okay, I'll come out and tell them if you promise me that you'll never say that this baby is not your baby, okay? Absolutely, of course. I'll never say it again. Fine. Come on, follow me. Guys! Baby Alex, baby Steve. We have a big surprise for you. Guess what? And Soon you're a snot and I'm not. Excuse me, baby Steve, come on. I'm trying to be nice here. Soon enough, you're going to have a baby brother or baby sister. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You're pregnant, mommy. That's amazing. We got a puppy and now we're getting another brother or Yay! sister. Yay, isn't that just amazing? Oh, guys, I'm just so excited.